Hello everyone and welcome back to another playthrough in Fortnite Horror. In today's episode, we're taking a look at Theater, an odd part prequel. This is going to be a introduction to the Odd Park series. Even though it is the third map that has come out from this creator, it's more or less an origin story for Loki. The only reason I know this beforehand is because the creator of the series mentioned that he was working on a map that explained how Loki came to be in this universe and why he's doing the things that he's doing. So if you are interested in taking a look at the other two maps that are tied to this, I will leave links into the description below. If you have no idea what I'm talking about at this point, I highly recommend taking a look at my playthroughs and then coming back to this because it will make a little bit more sense as to what's going on. And to put all disclaimers aside, I have played through this beforehand, but I decided to take my commentary out. The reason for this, which has become a standard of mine, is if there's a lot of voice dialogue or voice acting, I'll take my commentary out because I just don't want this to be a segment where you're just hearing a bunch of talking. I'd rather see a little bit more gameplay, and if there happens to be any commentary in there, I'll let the story tell itself. So that all being said, I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. I'm just going to hit play and see what this creator has in store for us. I'd be happy to rent my theater to you. You can even use it for free if you can restore its good name. Two months ago, something bad happened. Something really bad. During David Kangil's performance, a stranger appeared on stage. And two weeks later, David disappeared without a trace. His demise ruined our good name and I suffered tremendous losses. Please, put on a good show so that people begin attending my theater again. Here's the key so you can get inside. Do you read the newspaper? Creepy things are happening in the theater. <laughs> okay, why are you here? To perform magic. I know a magician once. <laughs> oh, I like you. So, let's make a bet. You have 24 hours to figure out my name. And if you say it before time's up, I'll leave the theater for good. Otherwise... You'll regret coming here. <laughs> it was just another Friday night. The house was packed, as always. My assistant, Mary, and I step onto the stage to perform the trick, in which we make a clock vanish in thin air. Mary asks someone in the audience to volunteer, and a dwarf sitting in the front row agreed to help. At first, he seemed like to be a good sport, so I made a joke about his height. I would come to regret that. After we'd finished the trick, the dwarf yelled, You call that a miracle? You charlatan? I'll show you a miracle. Then something I couldn't have conjured in my worst nightmares happened. Everyone in the audience was lifted into the air, as if they'd been pulled by invisible strings, then dropped to the floor. I was shocked. I couldn't move. Meanwhile, the dwarf was standing next to me, laughing. The theater immediately descended into chaos, 
People ran towards the exit, screaming and pushing each other. Once the place was empty, the little man turned to me and said, That, that is, is magic. magic. You can't, can't even pull a rabbit out of a hat without misleading your audience. You're lucky though. I'm feeling merciful. So I'll make a wager for you. If you can say my name, I'll give you the power of a warlock. What do you think? Well, you can't refuse, so don't bother answering. I'm going to lock you in this theater while you are looking for my lame man. The dwarf possessed magic that allowed him to control me. Days passed, and then days turning to weeks as I searched for the dwarf's name. Yesterday I found an old book in an abandoned hall behind the stage. The author's name is Harry Kangal. They've been obsessed with capturing the dwarf. This makes me think the little guy is on a mission. Is he looking for that book too? In the book I found a blueprint of a device and a sheet of papyrus with a mysterious symbol in its center. I've assembled the device, but I haven't solved the mystery of the papyrus. I'm sure it's the key to my freedom though. It's you. Please help me. He's after me. Take this quickly. He tried to destroy this. <sighs> Please. What happened? 
What have you done to me, pathetic human? Set me free before I get mad. Now! <laughs> okay, so that was my playthrough of theater. An Odd Park prequel. I guess in some sense it did kind of tie everything together at the very end, but it's enough of a story that you could separate it from everything else. I wouldn't say that I would go into this completely blind. I would honestly go to the other playthroughs, like the Odd Park 1 and Odd Park 2 maps, to get a bit of an idea of what you're dealing with. Because, again, the record and obviously Lewis the Clown at the very end are story devices that are frequently acknowledged in the two Odd Park maps. So I think it's it's kind of like the Doom series. You can go in there and just have fun with the map and ignore the story, but the story's there if you want to take a look at it. That all being said, I thought this was really well done. I thought the story was fairly simple enough, and I have no real negative things to say about this. I'm hoping that we see more of this creator because it seems like he's got a good grasp on how to tell a story, while at the same time, there's a little bit of horror in there, but there's not too much where it's overburdensome. So if you are interested in trying this map out, the creator's code is on the top left-hand corner, and the island code is right next to it. Mm -hmm.